Enjoying the pool. Mellow, Duncan, and that boy over there, Michael. Having fun. And there they go. Following Michael. He's got the balls. That's what they want. And the race is on, ladies and gentlemen. Michael comes up with the ball. It's 104 degrees in Eldorado Hills. I'm gonna be the first Wadsworth to ever attempt the spicy Wadsworth, which is 10 laps on the run, 20 on the bike, and then 20 in the pool. Uh, I'll keep you posted. Here comes Michael doing his first spicy wads of the season. Spicy wads being the full triathlon for the Wadsworth at 100 plus degree temperatures. And here comes Michael on the second portion of the triathlon. He's now into the biking session, taking those turns nicely. Helmet off. Michael has finished the first two, first two sessions, now putting the goggles on, preparing himself for the last and most formidable portion of the triathlon. This is the 20-lap swim, and although it looks small and easy, it is a challenge. She can relax. She got two. Out here at Eileen's thing on Saturday. Come on. Out here, oh, cousin's <laughs> night. <laughs> 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 First time alcohol has been served in the Wadsworth <laughs> residence. JD is three years old. He's made a commitment that by year 18, 
When he's 18, he says he's going to be able to dunk and hang on the rim. I can't, looking back on it, yeah, there was no what did he do? He took the guy and left him standing there. Really? And, and dunked it every time. That's wow. amazing. Dunked it. Dunked? That's amazing. Yeah. What? I don't know you could dunk. Yeah. Anybody want to start with open the letter up the Okay, can everybody find a place to either sit or um, pipe down, so to speak? <laughs> hey, first of all, just thank you for everybody who came from all the different places you did to be here. Um, it's just great to see all of you. And as too often happens, you know, the, the reason is never the best, but if it gets everybody here and we're able to see and share time with you all, um, it's much appreciated. So I'm talking first because I'm setting the bar low. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to talk for long or about a lot of stuff, but I've had conversations with some of you today who, that have been so lovely. I came up with was an enigma. He was an enigma to me then and now. Uh, he was an accomplished athlete who hated to exercise. <laughs> he was a pilot who hated to fly. A leader of Marines who was well-respected by his subordinates, but who chafed under authority when he disagreed with policies passed down from his own seniors. I mean, each one of you guys, through different ways, uh, had some passing time with my father. I, and, and some of the, the people who are from the Wadsworth and Sessament side here today, uh, it, it's a different feeling now because we always knew that there was one more left, you know? And I, I mean, obviously, we all had our sadness as each of our aunts and uncles passed away over the years, but um, he was the baby of the family and he was the last one to leave um, 26 months ago. But I remembered back when we were living in Hawaii and this was a different time when you could apparently uh, have a little bit more leeway of flying jets than they probably a lot would allow now. But we also dazzled our next door neighbors by saying the same thing like, hey, you won't believe, you know, what's going to happen in just a few minutes and he'd come, you know, doing what he probably wasn't supposed to do, but it was pretty cool as a six-year-old to be able to say that to my dad, you know, flying. My best joys that I've had was moving out to El Dorado Hills 16 years ago, um, totally coincidentally because of the being transferred from Ohio back out to California. Um, but living nine miles away from where dad lived. And our uh, very special times we had were just he and I getting to meet for breakfast and getting to know him as a older, softer, uh, more willing, more loving uh, man than he might have shown when, when we were younger. It was just such a special time and moment with Grandpa and Eileen and I'm very grateful for it. This, this <laughs> stick has made it from Virginia to Ohio here, founded in 2003, 2005, I don't know. 2005, yeah. made it all the way back. Fourth of July weekend, right? Correct. I think you're gonna make some... Get him, go get him. Me and Daniel, leftover ice from the party. Ready, set, go. <laughs> oh, oh! So sorry I died. So sorry we died. <laughs> We're in heaven now. <laughs> ah! So sorry we died. <laughs> so sorry we died. <laughs> Let's go. Real ones could handle it. Ah!
Little boy, Mellow. Mellow. So at the event, I spoke with Mary Elizabeth, and she was able to share some background and traditions that the Wadsworth have had throughout the years. Mary Elizabeth explained that in the late 1800s, Thomas Wadsworth went from Ireland and settled in Canada. John Wadsworth, who was the son of Thomas, left their farm in Canada, came through Detroit, and then settled in L.A. The family tree goes into more detail, but Mary Elizabeth also explained some more about Wadsworth traditions in the past. One thing she spoke about specifically was Fiddle Creek. When she talked about Fiddle Creek, she said they would gold pan, inner tube, cook, play crosswords and card games, and at the end of the night, they would end up getting ice cream from the general store. So overall, it was good to hear where the Wadsworth lineage came from and the different traditions that we've had over the years. It goes back to 1868. Full family tree of the Wadsworth and the Furies back from 18, 1868. So this is the original 170-acre Wadsworth farm in Northern Ireland. Not in the forest. You can see all the trips to Fiddle Creek on the table. Yeah, I did it again. Walmart, mm -hmm. Turkey, how long? What's the estimate on days? Nah. nah. How long has it been in there? A week or less? <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, is there a date on here? So by 9-11, 2020, 